So, it's pretty clear that uh, getting back to my UFC 3 levels with John Jones, and UFC 4 is going to be a lot more difficult. But um, I don't think that's going to really stop me from trying. Um, what I do know as I think about it is that I might have to fight a different style with Jones. Specifically, not necessarily striking style, but just use a different game plan altogether with John Jones. Probably, I'm thinking the game plan that Jones used when he fought Alexander Gustafson the second time. I think that's prime John Jones. And... Um, that's the game plan we're going to try to employ in this fighter showcase. So, game plan is essentially we're going to keep things at kicking range at all times. We're not going to get into boxing range with the opponent at all. And if he makes his way into boxing range, we're going to crash in and take that away from him. And we're also going to be grappling quite a bit. Essentially, avoid taking damage as much as possible. There we go. Put him down. Move to half guard, side control. I'm looking for crucifix right away. There we go. Clean crucifix. No sir. Americana. And this will be it. I did not get hit once this fight. This is exactly how I want to play it, man. Keep that defense with John Jones as high as possible. Just like this. And that's it. That, that does it. Clean. Clean. Took him down in the very first round. Got the submission. Moving on. Moving on, I like it. So that's the that's the game plan we're going to use for this whole entire uh, this whole entire fighter showcase. That's how we're going to work it. We're going to keep it at kicking range, like I said. If they get into boxing range, we're going to crash in, either try to get a takedown or we're going to clinch them up, back them up, create space again, rinse and repeat the same exact tactic game plan that Holly Holm used in her fight versus Aldana. So, first fight of success, let's move on. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. Next, it is a light heavyweight championship fight between Jan Wachowicz. All right, people, we are facing the champ, Jan Wachowicz. I love it. You know, the, the interesting thing about uh, about John Jones, you know, it's like a lot of people probably wouldn't know this, but um, I mean, he has he has extremely high strike defense. Well, I'm pretty sure some, a lot of you already know this. Those of you that watch MMA regularly, but John does not get hit as much as as, as much as it seems like John Jones gets hit. For example, I give you, and I'm I'm gonna try to see if I can replicate that every time I use John now. Just try to avoid getting hit. Uh-oh. As I get caught with two hooks right there. <laughs> but, um, John's strike defense is sitting at 64 right now. 64. If I had to ask you guys, where is Israel Adesanya's strike defense at? What would you guys say it is? Israel is at 65. So... When you take a look at both men, they literally do not get hit. <laughs> they don't get hit. Israel's defense is more beautiful. It's more technical. So it looks prettier. John is a little bit more raw and odd with his defense, but still as effective. Still as effective. Oh my god, these damn sidekicks, man. And I'm having to amend my style because, specifically because, the sidekicks in this game just, just they don't work like they should. 
very easy to make them whiff. And so a, a lot of what makes John lethal on the feet doesn't make him lethal on the feet anymore in UFC 4. And uh, UFC 4 is very boxing heavy. And if you don't have a fighter that knows how to, you know, has a lot of boxing skills, and you have to kick. There we go. Shoot on him. Boom. Cross to down, slight control. I've avoided, like, virtually all damage on the feet, to be honest. No, sir. Oh, he got out. Let's try it. A lot of players these days, man, they've gotten so much better at defending these. This man was saved by the bell. <laughs> this man was saved by the bell. He was saved by the bell. Damn. Interesting. You know, man, when you take a look at some of these, like, UFC stats, because I, I, I pulled them up right before the stats, right, right before this fight. I'm trying to just compare a lot of fighters. A lot of things you think is not actually the case. Like... For example, you know, if someone were to ask you who has better strike defense, you know, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson or John Jones, you would most likely go with Stephen Thompson, right? But he, he's sitting at 54% right now, strike defense. He gets hit more than John Jones gets hit. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? He gets hit more than Israel gets hit, you know? After this fight, I'm kind of curious. I'm going to see if I can... I'm going to check and see who has the best strike defense in the UFC right now. If you guys had to guess without looking, who would you say has the best strike defense in the UFC right now? I would probably still go with Izzy. I wouldn't say Conor. I'm pretty sure it's not Conor McGregor. It's not Sean O'Malley. It would probably have to be Habib, I would say. If I had to guess, I would say Habib. Either Habib or probably Hamza Chimaev right now. But <laughs> These guys don't get hit, man. They don't get touched. It's going to be a grappler. Someone who's able to ground their opponents for a really, really long time. Come here, boy. See that? Every time he makes his way into my boxing range, I crash in, bail on the takedown, get him in the clinch, send him right back. And this is how you could maybe avoid pressure. And then, of course, the stiff arm retreat that I'm constantly using. The problem with that st stiff arm retreat is that it costs so much stamina to use. Um, and uh, I wish it didn't cost stamina so that we all could use it. You know, I would like to see it as a part of defense in this game. But, um... Yeah, I'm not going to get it. But I might as well try, right? Man. Players are getting better at this. It's going to be very difficult to submit people these days, man. I mean, look at this. Okay. No, sir. No, sir. Why not? Let's try it. See that in, in UFC 3, 
my style with Jones is a lot different from my style with Jones right now. In UFC 3, it was mostly single strike high variance. Make sure that I'm, I'm striking first. I'm going first over and over again. I'm outworking my opponent, but on the feet. Um, right now, it, it's just I cannot do, I can't use that style. It's just not going to work. So, you know, pressuring with Jones in UFC 4 is just... I will need to box, you know what I mean? And he doesn't have the boxings to do that. So, and I, don't, I just I don't want to box with Jones. Sorry, I don't want to box with him. So. To the body, back up. Jeez Louise. These, some of these jabs are heat-seeking missiles. <laughs> Got him. Question mark to the head. Another one. Beautiful knee. I'm going to get back up. Get back up. Missed. Jabs, man. Then again, Jan has these long arms. Oh, boy. There we go. To the body. There we go. Sit him down. He denies that. There we go. Ugh. Getting hit now, but that's to be expected because I'm moving forward. There we go. Why not? No, he's fine. He's fine. I'm nowhere near. I'm nowhere near getting this submission. He's okay. He's okay. He gets up. Respect, my man. Respect. Good fight. Good fight. Pretty sure I won this one handily. Pretty sure this is going to be a very dominant win. And that's the one thing I'm also you know going to try to be okay with if I'm using John it's okay to win a decision you know it's I don't have to I don't have to end the fight every single time wait what the hell is going on right now why are we stuck here do I have to press X or something please don't tell me we're frozen Um, this is the sort of, okay, we're fine. We're good. Hit me with it. 50-45? Oh, 30 -20. What am I thinking? It, this was not a, it was not a five-round fight. <laughs> it was not a five-round fight. It was a three-round fight. Three-round fight. 30-26. Jesus. 30-26 is dominant, bro. I didn't get touched. I did not get touched in this fight, bro. I did not get touched. Your boy did not get touched one bit. 
I kind of want to take a look at the um, um, fight stats. Yeah, let's take a look at the fight stats and see. <laughs> he landed 40 of 119. Where would you look at that? Let's move on. All right, we are facing the Iceman, Chuck Liddell. Let's go. The same exact strategy, the same exact game plan, the same exact tactic. Let's hit it. Thank you, sir. Respect, respect, respect. Send him right back. There we go. The moment he came close to me, crash in on him. Oh, he's doing a good job of constantly sidestepping. You guys can see that. Yeah, he doesn't want me to hit him with that. He doesn't want me to hit him with that rear leg sidekick to the body. You don't have to worry about even sidestepping, bro. You see that? Just moving laterally, even a little bit, makes it miss, which I think is kind of. Kind of crazy. I can't wait for them to fix this, man. This is... As to the body. Try not to get... See, the way he keeps leading with that... The way he keeps leading with the cross, and then the jab, and then the cross. Those types of strikes would be hard to, uh, to not get hit by because it's one, two... Like, a lot of times, man, even in... Oh, he got it. What the freak? A lot of times, even in real life... It's, you know, this is why I, I disagreed. I know it's, it's kind of hard to have me taken seriously when I say I disagree with John Jones when he says something, but... There we go. I'm going to start doing that. Slip, get him in a clinch as he's coming with that. There we go. You know, before this fight against Dominic Reyes, before his fight against Dominic Reyes, John was saying something like, he was like, Tiago Santos was, you know, throwing left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right combo. And he was like, if I can defend against those combinations, I can defend against Dominic Reyes's one shot at a time style. And I'm like, I heard him say that. I was like, that's not the case, bro. That's... No, that's not the, that's uh-uh. Because if, if a fighter is throwing left, right, left, right, left, right, they are predictable. You know what I mean? They're, they're pre it's like, bro, John, you're, remember your style. <laughs> remember your style. Your style is a one at a time type of style. And fighters have a hard time defending against your shots because they're, it's like that. You know, Dominic Reyes has a very similar style, except he runs around the outside of the octagon as he does it. No, sir. You know, Reyes would throw a cross. Then he would throw a leg kick. Then he would throw a roundhouse to the body. Then he would throw a head kick. But most of his shots are one at a time, at a time, at a time. And those are more difficult to defend against than the ah, 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 combinations because you can predict them. You know if it's a left, next is going to be a right, then it's going to be a left, then it's going to be a right, and you can slip your way. It looks more impressive, right, if you're slipping and blocking combos, but those combos are a lot easier to defend against than the one-shot-at-a-time style. It's why Floyd Mayweather also favors the one-shot-at-a-time. He pops you and, and he varies it, and you don't know what's coming next. You, you might think, oh, well, just react to the strike, but it's it's hard. It's a lot harder to react to than you think. So, I don't know, man. I, I think I questioned John's coaching for that fight against Dominic Reyes. It just, it, everything was wrong. Everything was wrong. And I know you guys won't take me seriously because I'm, you know, it's, it's John Jones. So, what the hell do I know? But everything was wrong. The 
fight strategy. The, I, I don't know. Just see the way this man is fighting right now. You know, it's the one and the boom and the boom and the boom. It's hard to deal with. He's using Chuck. In the real, see, he, he, he catches me clean. You know, he goes one, jab, jab, then one, then cross, then jab, cross. The rhythm that he's using is so difficult to deal with. See that? Yeah, I like this man. I like the way he's fighting. Yep. <laughs> See, sometimes he goes boom, boom, and other times it's boom, boom, then boom, boom, then boom, and bo you, if if you if you if you fight this way, man, you're going to notice a lot of people will have a hard time dealing with you. Go. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't even know if he's doing it on purpose, if he knows what he's doing, but whatever, he's, he's it's working. I'm gonna get him though. I'm gonna get him. Oh, jeez, Louise. There we go. Boy's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. This dude is serious. Got him. Son of a bitch. I can't even throw a freaking switch kick without getting blasted to the head. <laughs> Okay. So I rocked him and he rocked me back. Yeah. See that? Well, I mean, he started the jab just as I was about to throw the roundhouse. So he beat me to it right there. That makes sense. Respect, my man. Respect. Let's keep it going, though. Let's keep it going. I want to fight. And the slip uh, elbow doesn't work like it did in UFC 3. And the reason for that is um, you can exit the pocket a lot quicker after you miss, after you whiff in this game. There we go. Take him down. A lot quicker than you can in UFC 3. So when you whiff, you throw a strike and you miss. You can exit the pocket, so you can avoid being countered a lot, a lot faster than you could in UFC 3. No, sir. I'm liking that crucifix, brother. I'm liking that crucifix, my man. There we go. He's out. Just so you guys don't, uh, you know, complain. I could hold them all day long, but try to make this somewhat interesting for you guys. I want that switch again or a roundhouse to the body, but I'm worried he's just going to tee off on my head as I try to throw. There we go. As I try to throw a roundhouse, he's just going to tee off and catch me in transition. Man, the way this dude is throwing his punches is such a pain in the ass. Ah. I'm 
Nope. Jeez Louise. What? No rock on that? Are you kidding me? Fine. He's doing a really good job of sidestepping. The moment he sees, like, my my legs start to come up, he boom, he, side, he, he short steps. Okay. Yeah, dude, I I have no doubt in my mind that I'm going to stop this dude. We just have to uh, break him down a little bit more. That's all we got to do. Just break him down a little bit more. Try to hurt his body. Get him out of there. That's That's it. Get him out of there. Am I ready? Is that what you're asking? Of course I'm ready. Of course I'm ready. There it is. I was hoping that would be a rock, but I guess not. See that? How he can, boom, pull out right away? Man's, man's pull-out game is uh, A++. I thought he was going to block low right there. Got him. There we go. Sit him down. There we go. And it's only a matter of time now. Nothing. <gasps> no. No, 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 no. There. No, you did not. You did not just flash me, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is, uh... God damn, dude. 45 title defenses down the drain. And this is going to dock me like 50 or 60 points right now, bro. Shit. Anyways, good fight, bro. Good fight. Good fight. I'm glad I lost to you because you were, you were good. I like the way you were punching. So I don't mind losing to you, bro. All right. So to my channel members, Sick Techniques, Rhett Bunch, Philip Zitai, Junior Gabriel, Aziz Atar, Enrique Ortiz, Rick Hashtag Network, Adam Jones, Facts Kellerman, Young Blue, Trade Raptor, Prioxis, Collapso, Revenant, Swagnado, Cuevo, Evan Perry, Kuda Me, David Sandine, and Zayaf. I really appreciate all the support, people. You guys are incredible. Thank you for your continued support. And for the rest of you, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'm going to get out of here. I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Oh, that's sad. Have a wonderful day, people.